Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for joining me here at the Galaxy with God Love Notes. I really want to thank you so much, my new and my returning subscribers and all the persons who tune into this channel. I really appreciate you, one and all. I am actually looking back on my journey, my tarot journey. I should tell you, <laughs> no one was ever as cute as I was. I never want to be public. It seemed like a mountain to climb, but I never give up. So I'm telling you now, it's a hard journey. Trust me. Trusting your intuition, not knowing what this thing was, moving without sight. You are, you, I'm actually hmm, walking by faith, not by sight. It wasn't an easy journey. I was scared. I was shy. I never even want my family to know exactly what I was doing because it was like a taboo to me because of my upbringing, my background. But I think I've overcome that fear somehow. Not all entirely, but somehow. It is hard. But it is the hard that makes it beautiful at the end. They always say difficult roads, rugged roads tend to lead to happy endings, happy outcomes, or a beautiful destination. So this was never an easy journey for me, starting from scratch, not knowing anything, not knowing about spirituality, not knowing about terror, not knowing about anything i'm just here i started this by myself and i'm just trusting my spirit guides to take me along on a daily basis i work too much i have daytime job i have two jobs plus i have to find time each day to post a video that was really challenging it's the difficult part that let me really appreciate this terror thing so much it's the hard part if it wasn't hard everybody would do it everybody can but not everybody will be willing to put out the extra effort to do everything to do this but i chose to take this as my path to be able to reach out to more people than those in my immediate circle even the people in my immediate circle i was hiding myself from i'm no longer able to hide because they realized the difference in me. The person they saw back then, I'm not really the same person today. I might look physically the same, but energetically, I'm no longer aligned with many of my peers, the persons I've grown up with, even people in my family. I've seen things differently to the point where people might think I'm delusional, <laughs> but, just like when Jesus was here, people believe he, believe he was crazy because he speak the way he did. So when I speak the way I do in terms of spirituality, people maybe is willing to judge me. But I started at a very humble stage, not knowing anything. But every expert was once a beginner. So when you start at a very low place, not knowing anything and and you reach to a point where you stop and you look back and say oh my god how did i do this how this how did this just happen you know this is not your strength this is not your energy but it's something beyond you you are divinely guided to do something so this is how it works tarot might be ordinary or spirituality might seem to other people as ordinary but the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is just a little extra. You could have put a little more effort into this to make yourself being more outstanding or more elevated. And this is how God wanted you to be. This is your calling. This is your life purpose. So God actually put a cap on you to make you more enlightened it gives you a different shine it might it doesn't have to be terror in your case it can be anything 
it can be starting a business from a very from the very scratch you have to do research as how to start that business but whatever it is don't ever give up on what you feel in your heart you're supposed to do with whatever your heart desires this can be be your reality sometimes you might win sometimes you learn we're not always gonna win at whatever we start but it's gonna teach us a lesson anyways everything is difficult if you don't understand it but it is difficult until it becomes easy so the more you do something is the more you'll understand better how to get around it or get over it every expert as i said was once a beginner so the fact that i can do it you can do it too i don't know anything about tarot a year or two ago i had no clue i was grown up christian so if i can do tarot to share my knowledge to share my understanding to judge um to be able to judge what's right and wrong and follow what god wants me to do i'm sure this many of us watching this could be our path also but we are afraid of being judged by people but at this point i leave all judgment to god if they believe i'm wrong for doing tarot leave it to god he will be the perfect judge of my character or what i'm doing but in my heart what i'm doing if anything i've learned over the years of my hundred years being on earth this is one of the truth that no one can ever take from me maybe when i was younger i was easily more manipulated and believing things that people want to show me but at this point my reality i can actually hold it that's how strong i am in my faith i believe in the divine i believe in god i know i'm divinely guided to do this because if it wasn't the will of my father i wouldn't be sitting here i don't like to be on in public i don't like to be on tv i don't but i have a purpose and the purpose is to share so i'm here collectives and i really appreciate you one and all i've reached a thousand k plus viewers subscribers and i'm really appreciative of everything that you do your energy is really it is so it's such a humbling experience for me because as i always say this is not my will but the will of my father to do this and i love my father so much whatever he asks me to do i am willing to do it this is my purpose for, for being alive today because <laughs> i've been through so much so much i can't even express it here maybe in one video or even 20 videos maybe i might have to write a book because it's so much but i'm not angry i'm not bitter i'm just thankful for all the journey rugged roads sleepless nights being tired and still having to do this because i'm being nudged is like when I'm supposed to do a read or a reading, is I cannot be comfortable. As much as I want to go to bed and I'm tired of working all day, I just got to get up and I don't know what I'm going to say on most of my readings. I don't know what's going to come out. Sometimes it makes me nervous because I do not want to be picking up negative, really negative readings. but somebody needs to hear <laughs> somebody needs to know so i'm just following along with my spirit guides the divine or everybody else in the spiritual realm who is working alongside with me my collectives i really love you all and i thank you so much for being a part of my journey a part of my soul tribe a part of the galaxy with god love notes thank you so much i couldn't have done it without the help of my father in heaven and the help of my subscribers i really love you all and appreciate it each and everyone thank you i'll be doing a reading shortly but i just got to see this that i'm at a thousand subscribers and this is such a humbling experience to me knowing i couldn't have done this by myself but i trusted my intuition 
I trusted my guidance. I trusted God to be and to do exactly what I'm doing. I like this. I'm going to stop bickering. <laughs> I'm going to go for now, but thanks so much again. Goodbye.